Hey everyone, it's Armor Gaming. Welcome back. So I know I literally just finished recording the previous episode, but then I exited out of the game, logged back into the game, and I saw this Prince Charmless Limited Edition Pathway. So this monster is only available for a day and 15 hours. And here's the thing: for newer players, Charmless is a great monster. And I'm like, wait a minute, why do we have a chance to get him right now? I also saw there's a Maze Coin Dungeon, and if I enter. I wonder if I'm able to complete it all. This is going to give me a lot of maze coins. But here's the thing. I don't know whether... I doubt... If you're a new player, I doubt you're going to be able to complete the limited edition pathway. So... I think you're going to have to ignore it. So I just wanted to make this video and kind of this announcement. Because this is completely... This is complete news to me. I did not know this was going to be a thing. So let's play it out. Let's see how far we can get. If anything, hey. We got an extra maze dungeon. We get a chance to... Um, get more food, gold, what be it. Um, no, fight, auto. Yeah, I doubt you're going to be able to play it all the way through. So I'm also doubting we're probably going to... We're probably not even going to be able to get Marquis. Which sucks because I don't know if there is a table out there. I should probably search. Because there probably is a table out there showing like the cost of this maze and everything. But let's... Nonetheless, let's try to get as far as possible. This thing's only here for 15 hours. I wonder why there's such a delay. Maybe it's because I had the game on all day and I had not exited out and logged back into the game. But it, it kind of sucks to know that I'm behind on this. Or that, like, it would have been nice to know the limited edition pathway was there. Maybe I would have saved the earlier coins, although to be honest, it wasn't even that much that I spent moving the monsters during the 20% 20, 20 discount. So I think you're fine. I think really, realistically, maybe the only way to get the monsters might be by spending money or again, by being clever with the way you get your gems. Because remember, when I run out of maze coins, there's a pop-up offer for like 25 or 30 more gems than I have in order to get the monster. So like I said, if you're smart about it and the season's about to end and you get your 15 gems and you connect to Facebook and you get your 10 gems and then maybe you do something else to get the last 5 gems, maybe you can get a legendary monster for very, 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 very cheap. You could do that if you wanted to, right? If you listen to me, you're going to have your gold economy built up. You can quickly buy a legendary habitat. You can have a level 10 legendary monster that's going to kick some serious butt, right? Especially if it's Marquis or Charmless. Fire nature with the with the nature habitat and with the fire habitat, you're gonna be able to level them up to level 20, whether you get Charmless or Marquise. So you could dominate with a level 10 or level 20 legendary monster if you wanted to. So again, if you're smart with the gems, you could do that. But yeah, I, I just thought it's interesting that they're available right now. And so let's see how far we can get. Complete seven dungeon nodes, 50 challenge coins, or 50 challenge from the gold from the silver legends pass. Awesome. So let's see, we have quite a ways to go. Am I going to make it to the end? Doubt it. Am I going to make it halfway? Maybe, I don't know. I'm doing pretty good right now. And I'm able to auto everything, which is always nice. When you can just auto everything, you know you're fine. Lunge Punch, Fire Drizzle, Root, Cleaning Whirlpool, Lunge Punch, Harry Paw, Panda Beast, Lunge Punch. Awesome. So, spin the roulette wheel. Gotta get those rewards. Let's see what I get this time around. And a level 1 speed rune. Awesome. I want those level 1 speed runes. They're going to be super helpful moving forward. Making my panikins faster than the enemy monsters. It, it would be very nice to pick up a legendary monster, but we'll, we'll kind of see how everything plays out. Fast attack. There's no something. Lunge punch. Fire drizzle. And death. Death to the enemy. Alright, these adorable little panikins are quite menacing, aren't they? They're quite menacing. Stamina runes. Another good reason to do it, like... These level 1 stamina runes, they're going to be... <laughs> level 1 stamina runes. No, these, these level 1 runes, they're going to be your best friends of anything. So level them up to like level 2 runes. Lunge Punch, Harry Paw. And just a heads up, up until level 3? Or is it level 4? I think it's level 3. Up until level 3 runes, you can remove runes for gold. Once you start equipping 4, 5, and above, um, that's all going to cost gems to remove the runes. So do not just place your level 4 runes on your average monster okay once you start getting those just save them for the main monsters that you want and again i'll be walking through everything i'll be helping you out along the way so we're doing pretty good with this maze dungeon it's not too difficult i think it's within the realm of possibility of me actually beating maybe not the very very last note i don't know then again by tomorrow i can accumulate a lot of food i can level my pandakins up until level 20 so i might be able to pull this off i might just be able to pull this off 50 70 120 I don't know, maybe I'm overconfident. We are approaching node number 11. Level 9 monsters, easy enough for me to deal with. Bam, lunge punch. 
Bam, Lunge Punch, that's already two down. Fast Attack, Spencer Punch, Great Metabolism, Heavy Paw, Lunge Punch, Heavy Paw, Holy Shelter, Lunge Punch, Lunge Punch. Yeah, so I really think it's just the fact that I didn't exit out of the game all day, and I just had like the game kind of on. And I think that's why it never appeared for me. But because I just closed the game and opened it back up, I think that's why it appeared. And if I click on it really quickly, um, one day, 15 hours. So if we add, normally this should be two days. So if we add the seven hours to five days, 15 hours, I guess this appears at the six day mark, roughly. Yeah, roughly around the six day mark, that's when this appears and when this appears as well. So just a heads up for everyone playing the game, and just so you know, um, let's go on. Auto, Lunge Punch, that's one down, Fire Drizzle, Fast Attack. Fast Attack is cool, it's an extra turn scale, it's the original extra turn scale. When you when a monster has Fast Attack, they attack the, they attack the enemy and then they get an immediate extra turn. The OG extra turn scale, I love it. I used to run it on my monsters, even though it's such a weak skill that does like low physical damage, I love it. Alright, let's fight. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna be able to beat the 100. So, we're battling some epics. Keep in mind, I told you that epics, even though, see they're level 8, but look at their stats. They are on par with my level 12 and 13 monsters. So, be careful with these epic monsters. Unfortunately, I get the luxury of going first. I get to land a stun. Let me land another stun. And I can even land a fire drizzle. So, I'm gonna be able to beat this node. This one's not gonna be too bad at all. Um, let's go ahead and lunge punch. Let's fire drizzle. So that's one down. This monster will die with a burning. Let's land a fire drizzle. Oh wait, he's immune to burning. We can just auto the rest. Lunge punch, lunge punch, and there we go. So cool. I might be able to finish it. So now I'm, I'm confident. So if you've been following my advice, if you've been following my guides, you might also be able to finish this maze. So yeah, one, two, three, four more notes. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling pretty confident. Level eight epics. I think I got this. Um, let's start with a stun, and it did not work. So, I am not... Well, I guess I'll just play it out. Let's see if we can burn you. Let's see if we can... Oh, if I didn't miss, that would have been good. So, if you're playing this note and you're having trouble with it, um, do not worry. The the plan here... Oh, come on, so many missing. The reason I'm missing is because my accuracy is reduced with blind and with daze. So, that's why I'm missing so much. Yes, I was able to take him out. Um... See if we can lunge punch. Let's see if we can make it a three against two battle. That would be very nice. Three against two would be very nice. Let me heal. Ah, oh, it's miss. Um, gotta recharge. Oh, I can use items. Cool. I can use items. I wonder why. I thought items were like gone, gone. Well, I guess during these kinds of events, that's when you can use items in mazes. Okay, well, recharge infernal wings. All right, let's see if we can heal. Notice it said 1 HP, but I was still able to kill him. Um, let's go for the burning. Nice. And maybe we can stun. Ooh, Zenfiri would kill, but um, that's not going to be landing. Oh, you know what? If we land this and then burning. Yes, we did it. I thought I was going to have to exit out and play again. So Mothman, the, the monster that did the blind in the days, if I, if I would have stunned him on turn one, that would have been an easy victory. That would have been a super easy victory. All right, so we're getting to harder monsters. Oh, I'm out of stamina. No, but it's good to know I made it this far. Um, let's see if there's any way I can get more stamina. Keep in mind, if you are connected with Facebook, you can actually get more stamina. All right, so just keep that in mind. You can ask friends for Facebook um, to get stamina. And there's a Monster Legends community out there where you can have people add you so they can give you stamina. So that's not a problem. All right, I am at 5,640 food. So keep re keep accumulating food from the farms um i'm almost at 2.5 mil and yeah i i gotta look for a cost out there if there is a cost chart i will post it at the end of this video um so that you can see how much it's gonna cost to get the monster but considering it already costs 50 maze coins and it's gonna disappear in a day in 15 hours i could probably move them a few steps i don't think it's worth it and the objective is to get marquis so will i be able to get him i don't know we'll see we'll see I will give you guys as much info as I can, as much info as I can. Remember to keep getting your maze coins, and the way you get maze coins really quickly, we'll go over it again. You can get 30 maze coins from collecting gold, you can get 50 from collecting food, 30 from feeding monsters, 15 from PvP, 50 from breeding, and 50 from hatching. You'll notice you're probably never getting the 50 from breeding and hatching, so if you want to do it, honestly it's going to take a long time, but you're literally going to have to sell. You're going to have to sell and hatch 50 times, and that's how you're slowly going to get your maze coins. 
Okay, so normally the trick is, and for collecting gold, for collecting gold, you're literally just gonna have to spam collect on different habitats on the same habitat, and you'll slowly get maze coins out of there up until you get the maximum amount. And remember, you can get the max amount every single four hours. Normally what players do is they breed a Thunder Eagle. So if you actually wanted to, you can breed a Thunder Eagle with another Thunder Eagle. And that is a way to do it. I guess once you have your Pandakin farm, that's something you can do, depending how fast you set up your Pandakin farm. Because I'm pretty sure I'm able to purchase the Thunder Eagle already. Let me see. Sell um, six maze coins. Uh, re uh, buy egg. Um, sort by Thunder. Can I already buy Thunder Eagle? I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, so this is a monster. It takes exactly four hours. So actually, maybe that's something I should have advised. But this would require you to, to build your Thunder Habitat, which is possible. 1k, how much does it take? Reach level 16. Oh, so I guess you can't even get to level 16 to build one more building of this kind. Oh, too many buildings. Oh, no, so I probably can do it earlier. So, hmm... I wonder if that's worth doing just to get the maze coins just to get the 50 maze coins because the trick is with thunder eagle is you breed two thunder eagles together and you get thunder eagle thunder eagle takes exactly four hours to breed and it takes exactly four hours to hatch so that lets you know when the last time you logged in was and collect your and did all your collections and pvp and whatnot so i'm wondering if it might be worth it to get a thunder habitat have two thunder eagles and then do that so that might be something I recommend. That's something I'll probably do on the next episode. So I'll probably work on that. I might have to get rid of one of my nature habitats, which means I might have to get rid of two pandakins. Um, but just to do that whole Thunder Eagle thing. So I think, yeah. So I think that I'll probably do that tonight because tonight this small rock will be cleared and then I can put a Thunder Habitat and we'll see, we'll see how that plays out. We'll see if that's a good idea or not, if that's a good investment for players. Um, because it might be. That way... Because you see how I'm only getting one maze coin? That's because I didn't want to focus too much on the maze. Because again, like, yeah, it's cool that you can get a Marquise and everything. But the gold economy is the most important thing. Like, that Marquise, as nice as it is to have early on in the game, it's not like you're going to drastically need them or anything. So building the gold economy, to me, is the most valuable and important thing. So we'll, we'll kind of we'll kind of play it out. We'll kind of tease it out. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, that's all I kind of wanted to do the video on. Because this surprised me that there was a maze coin dungeon. And the fact that that this was available and i'm wondering if it only happened maybe the only reason it happened was because i'm level 15 now or something i don't know i don't know there's, there's a lot of reasons why it could have happened but but yeah guys hopefully you're following along hopefully you're at the same stage i am and hopefully we figure out the best way to be effective in the middle of all this notice i keep getting six maze coins at a time <laughs> that's funny i keep getting six maze coins at a time if i was to plant the sea grape by the way and then do blue lizard tail i'd probably get more than six but yeah, every time I sell and hatch, I keep getting one, 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 one. So that's going to be like that for a while. Um, I want to do another adventure map battle, but I don't have them. And I already used all of them from the daily missions. So it is what it is. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all of that. So with that being said, short video this one. But I just wanted to talk about the Maze Coin Dungeon and the Limited Edition Pathway and whatnot. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Again, I, if I find something in terms of the cost of the Knights and Swamp Maze, I will definitely post that. Thank you very much, and I will see you all next time.